my name is uh, Mohsin Danish Talab. I'm a professor and also associate director of research and graduate studies at the Memorial University School of Pharmacy. I'm originally born, well, I was born in Iran and uh, was raised there and I got my first degree which is called PharmD, Doctor of Pharmacy, which is a professional degree, is different from PhD. Uh, there at Tehran University, the largest university in Iran. And then I just uh, got this scholarship from a Japanese Mombusho in 1972. And uh, came to Japan and spent about six months in Osaka, moved to Tohoku University. Uh, and in Tohoku University, after six months, I entered into PhD program. And PhD program was in uh, faculty of pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences and uh, under the supervision of uh, Professor Tetsuzo Kato. And uh, I spent about three and a half years to uh, finish my PhD program. To some extent it was quite a successful program you know, and I was selected as the best student that year in graduation so I was very happy to, <laughs> to be a, maybe the first foreigner in those days to be entitled to this, you know, uh, type of title. In my research uh, in uh, very simple language is discovery and development of new drugs, new medications. It is mostly chemistry-based type of research. And my research in reality started because we, I target specific disease, we cannot work on everything, you know, all the diseases you know, in the world. So my targets are two type of diseases. One is cancer, mm -hmm. and the other one is infectious diseases like bacterial, mm -hmm. fungal, viral disease, you know, AIDS, and those, those things. And uh, nowadays I'm mostly focusing on cancer. And I have graduate students and postdoctoral fellows you know, who are working in development, discovery and development of novel anti-cancer agents mm -hmm. which are not toxic to body. So this is a major thing because uh, cancer drugs, anti-cancer drugs, although they might, be, they might kill the cancer cell, but they are also toxic to other cells in the body. So my major uh, emphasis is some, some to come, come up with something, some molecules which are anti-cancer agents but don't show uh, toxic, uh, toxicity effect on the body. Mm -hmm. You know, but one thing that this career has given me, you know, confidence, a lot of confidence, you know. And of course I learned, you know, it is a learning process, you know. So, uh, you learn you know, any step of your life that you go ahead, you learn new thing every day, even now. And uh, to me, teaching is a good way to learn. So that's the reason I try, I'm always the vol volunteer to teach. <laughs> you know? So that's one thing. And uh, by that way, you, know, you gain a lot of things, you experience a lot of things, and you can add to your knowledge. That's the reason you, know, you can be more broad. You know, when, when uh, during the past three weeks, mm -hmm. when I was giving uh, I think different lectures, you know, to undergraduate, graduate, and so on, and also lab meetings with uh, Dr. Toyota's lab, you know, they could see, you know, the, the, the differences. Now, uh, you know, most of them want to go in that, to, to that direction, you know. When I talk to them, you know, why, they're asking, why do you know this, why do you know that? I think this is just simply because I wanted to know. You have to simply, and then one, one thing, that when you learn more, you will be more useful. <laughs> so that is one of the one things that I try, you know, to learn from different aspects. Suppose I worked with pharmaceutical research companies as well, when I was in Edmonton. That was a good learning process, because most of the university professors don't know what is the requirement, you know, in industry. Mm -hmm. And I gained that experience, you know during that period. So I'm just mixing both academic and industrial ex experience together. And uh, the approach is different, you know. 
the way that either my philosophy is different about drug design from others. And it was useful, I think, rather than, you know, of, uh, although two jobs at the same time, being professor and being in industry, you know, was very tough, but uh, I believe I gained. Yeah. Yeah, I was in Japan in the 1970s, you know, early 1970s to, to till late 1970s, you know. I was in Japan. And uh, people who were my, my classmates, and even undergraduate students, they were very hard working. And uh, in my first lecture, I told, uh, you know, uh, uh, students, uh, they, they, those were, I think, the freshmen, the first year students, you know. Uh, somebody asked me, what's your message? And uh, they simply, I, I, I have two words for you guys. First is consistency. Second one is just simply don't give up. This is one thing. Nowadays, I believe that you guys are giving up. And nations like Chinese, like Koreans are picking up. You know, pick up because your, 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 your parents or anybody, you know, your older generation, they just pass the torch to you guys. You guys have to simply keep that torch and move forward. You, know, you are samurai nations. You know, so that is one, one thing that I, I told them. Then they are doing fine. Students are fine. Students are very nice. You know, it's really good. unbelievably nice. But still, I cannot, I, could, I cannot compare with the time that I was graduate student. Professor Kato, my supervisor, you know, he never ever let us work with sophisticated equipment. We have to go and make up something by ourselves. And he was saying that, you know, sophisticated equipment is always available. But this is your brain, who you should just simply practice and become an inventor. So that is one, one thing that, you know, for the time being, I, I believe a lot of new technology came up. And then students, you know, didn't try to go, to, if, if suppose, if, if there's, one day there is not this type of equipment, then what, you, what can you do? Right? So that is one fun thing I think that uh, type of spirit, you know, should come back to. To me, that is the best program. Because this is the type of scientific exchange, you know. One, one thing that, there are a lot of things in North American, North American style, you know, that you cannot find it in Japanese, you know, uh, educational system. And in the meantime, because I knew the Japanese education system was familiar, it was much easier for me to grasp what is necessary to be added to. So I, I believe, you know, by talking to the students and by talking to Professor Toroto and others who attended, the, I, I believe there was something, some, it was a win-win situation for both sides, you know. I could contribute some, and also I uh, know what, suppose, in my future collaboration with uh, Professor Toyota's lab, you know, because we are planning now to collaborate. I brought some this small type of technological things for his group as well. Students were happy with that, and then from that point, because his area will be almost ex it is the same type of area that I'm involved right now, so we can con you know, contribute. You know, so you can see, in addition to I mean, uh, theoretical education, there was practical education as well, and there is now possibility of collaboration. I believe that is good good for our job. Yes.